Hey y'all and welcome back to K Cooks. It's your girl Keisha Michelle and today I will be showing you guys how to make some of the best cracked grapes that you've ever had in your life. For starters, you're going to need some grapes. I prefer large, firm grapes to ensure that the toothpicks will not fall out during dipping. Speaking of toothpicks, you're going to need some toothpicks. You're also going to need some fruit by the foot, fruit roll-ups, carol syrup, sugar, and water. And you're also going to need Jolly Ranchers to crush and coat your grapes with. And for the candy, make sure you're going to need four cups of sugar, three cups of water, and one cup of Cairo syrup. This recipe allows you to have a not super thick candy mixture. Once you get all of your ingredients into your pot, you want to make sure that you mix all of your ingredients up really well because if you do not, and you have sugar at the bottom of your pot, it will change the consistency of your candy so much to the point you won't be able to use it. You also need a candy thermometer. If you use a candy thermometer that looks like this, you want to make sure that it is not touching the bottom of your pot because it will give you a false temperature reading. While the candy is going, I'm going to go ahead and get started on our Jolly Ranchers. In a world with many ways to do things, I personally choose to do it this way. I just use my blender and I just toss all the Jolly Ranchers. If you want to separate them, you can. Um, I've done that before, but the flavor is really good when you have all the Jolly Rancher flavors together. And I personally like to crush it down to a fine powdery consistency with few with a few um, chunks of the Jolly Ranchers. I don't like the really big chunks. As you can see, I've already started wrapping the grapes, but I'm just gonna simply show you how I do it. I like to keep my crushed up Jolly Ranchers in a Ziploc bag while I wait for the candy to complete because if you leave it sitting out uncovered, the Jolly Ranchers will start to stick together and it will just be a mess. I forgot to mention the flavor oil is completely optional. You only need a drop of it, whatever flavor you decide to use. I ended up using peach flavoring that is that orange color that you're seeing I also use a mint green food coloring along with some liquid white and here I am just mixing that in really well here I am just adding my Jolly Ranchers to a paper bowl I find this method to be super simple because you can just toss the bowl when you're done so now it's time to dip, 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 baby, dip. It's pretty self-explanatory. Usually when I dip my grapes, I like to scrape off as much candy as I possibly can just to, you know, get rid of some of the thickness because like I said, these are grapes. You don't need a thick layer of candy. So I just wipe it on the side of my um, pot and then I coat it with the grapes. I know it may not look the prettiest um, if you leave them without the Jolly Ranchers on top, but if you put the Jolly Ranchers over the scraped off candy, it looks well and it tastes amazing. My customers have no complaints. 
Um, so trust me when I say this. I did end up leaving a few of them uncovered. So I just lightly and gently scraped the um, bottom of it. And um, I'll just leave them uncoated and they'll look really pretty. And usually they taste um, really good as well. They're not too thick. So this whole grape making process, it has definitely been a journey of trial and error. Um, I've had a few, I have had a few orders where they were like super thick and the customers let me know. Um, but like I said, it just took a lot of trial and error to get that candy recipe on point and to get those grapes on point. And now you guys, I tell you, these grapes keep me so busy. There is nobody else in my area that are making grapes like this right now. And they just keep calling and coming back for more. I love it. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And I've dipped quite a few grapes this will be about three orders in this section right here because the way I charge for my grapes I like to make sure that people are getting their money's worth for you know what they're ordering so I like to make sure that the container is jam-packed and the grapes are huge and juicy like tell me where y'all finding grapes like this at nowhere Okay, nowhere. So at this point, the candy mixture started to thicken up. So I just put it back on the heat on low and letting it thin out again. I use these 32 ounce containers. I also use the 16 ounce containers as well if customers want a half order. And I just pack it up and it looks like this. I also garnish it with candy and I also wrap a few grapes in just fruit roll-ups. They really enjoy those. So yeah. One thing about it, guys, you will never get a half dip nothing over here okay everything's gonna be full fully covered but anyways guys if you enjoyed this video let me know down below in the comment section and also let me know if you would like to see more treat making videos and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye